G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, today I'm going to be ranking the 2019 AFL captains. I've done these sort of tier makers before ranking AFL things, so if you want to see me rank other things, be sure to check them out. And without wasting any more time, let's get into it and uh, and see how I rank the skippers. All right, let's start with the A plus tier. Who do I reckon is a GOAT skipper? All right, I'm gonna put Salwood A. He's a good skipper. Nah, I'm gonna put him A plus actually. He, he is a good captain. Uh, I reckon Easton Wood conducts himself pretty well. So I'm gonna put Easton in the A category. Um, who else? Where do we go? Shannon Hearn seems very good. Potentially could pop up to A plus, but I'm gonna sit him in A just for now. Um, Pendle's good. Pendle's pretty solid in here. He's been a skipper for a long time as well, Pendle's. Uh, where else do we go? Um, Kennedy seems like a pretty good on-field leader. Um, and then I reckon Cal Ward's probably up there. Disappointing that he did his knee this year. Phil Davis seems pretty good the way he conducts himself in the media um, and just the way he goes about on the field as well clearly all right so I don't love Joel Salwood but I think he has to be up there um, pretty tough pretty good leader on the on the field um, it's everything you sort of want in a skipper isn't it and he's had a lot of success and clearly the team's going well at the moment so um, I'm gonna put Jonesy in the B. I don't think Nathan, I think Nathan Jones through the, like, I think he did what some players couldn't do and go through some of the like worst football, uh, football clubs ever gone through. Like I, 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 I think that's character building and for him to come out the other side of that, albeit we're not as successful as we should be at the moment, I think that's a massive testament. And the way, like, we would get flogged by 150 points and the way he would deal with the media and, and front up and and just be an amazing leader and drive standards for our footy club. I don't think he's an A, an A-grade leader, but I think, well, he, he's certainly up there. I'd have him in the B category. I think Trent Cochin screams B, B mode for me. He, did he get them to a flag? Is he premiership skipper? But yeah, I would probably say, you know, he doesn't seem like the greatest of on-field leaders, but he doesn't seem, seem like the worst. I'd chuck him in the B. Um, who else do we have? Jared Witz, I rate. I seriously rate Jay Witzy. I think um, he's had a good year, had a good rucking year. He's one of the top you know, hit outs for the year, which I know isn't that impressive because there's about four Ruckman in the league. But um, yeah, I, I sort of rate Jared Witts. I sort of rate how he's gone up there, couldn't really get a game at the Pies, and now he's playing some consistent footy for the Suns. Become a skipper, clearly driving the standards around the football club. So fair play to Witsy, he's in my B category. Um, who else, who else, who else? Sam Doherty probably C. He hasn't really played much though. So that's the only thing that's sort of holding him back. Cripper. They call him Superman because he um, he puts the blues on his back and, and really goes for it. I'd probably put him at the B. I, yeah. I'd put Crip, Crips as an individual player. Elite. Like in the A slash A plus. But as a captain... Is he as good as your Shannon Hearns, Eastern Woods? Not sure yet. Potentially is. I'm sure you'll let me know about it in the comments below. Um, Lukey Parker, C. I didn't even really know he was captain, to be honest. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful in terms of, you know, I, I probably don't watch enough Sydney games. This is all my opinion. I'm sorry. But um, yeah, Lukey Parker, I loved him as a, as a young bloke, but. I haven't really seen him do enough as a captain, but then again, I'm not an expert. This is just an armchair expert's opinion. So maybe stiff and I might reshuffle, but Luke Parker, gun player, but he's a C in the captain department. 
Dane Rampey, another gun player. But does he get out of the sea as a skipper? I'm not sure he does. He's, he's done some silly things on field. He clearly can play. But as a captain, as a bloke who picks your team up when the going gets tough, as a bloke who, who you know, leads by example, is that Dane Rampey? Because to me, Dane Rampey's a bit of a surfer, take the piss sort of bloke. Once again, I don't watch every Sydney game and I'm probably missing the mark here, but I'm sure you guys will let me know. Tom Jonas, C, good good backman. He's a backman, isn't he? He's a good backman. Um, yeah, Tommy Jonas, probably chucking the C. Ollie Wines, B. Shouldn't be skiing over summer though. As a captain, shouldn't be skiing, but I think he's going to be a good captain in the future. Um, so I think the Port fans are in good hands, but yeah, he's definitely, he's not, he's not quite up there, is he? Controversial, I reckon Jack Viney's probably a B. Um, I think Jack Viney will be the Joel Sarwood in a couple of years, but then again, I watch 22 of Melbourne's games each year and I see the bloke when the going gets tough, he gets going sort of stuff. So I've seen what he can do. Maybe if I watch Sydney as much as I watch the Ds, I might have a different opinion on Rampy and Parker. But um, yeah, Jack Viney, I think he's an absolute star in the making. He's still 20, what, 23, well, I think he's like, yeah, 24, 25. Um, I'm really excited to see him develop over the next couple of years. I hope the Ds keep him on. I hope it's Max Gorn and Jack next year. Geary, ah, probably a C. He's just not Nick Rewald, is he? So like, you know, if this was Nick Rewald, he'd be in the A pluses, but um, yeah, Geary probably a C for mine. Dane Zorko. Dane Zorko, <laughs> stiff, but the bloke spits and elbows and carries on. So, sorry Dane. Gun player, absolute jet, probably all Australian again, but he's in the D for mine. Fifey B, I've seen him front the media and conduct himself pretty well. Um, yeah, I think Fifey's a, a pretty good leader. Better player than he is captain, but I don't think he's a bad captain. Texan C, oh. Texan D, Texan D. I think the Tex carries on a bit too much. It's, it's not really, um, it's not really, all right, let's roll up the seat and get it done. It's sort of, there's a lot of sooking, in my opinion, of the Tex. I love the Texan, but um, as a captain, as like a, you know, hard nose, lead by example, you know, get the job done, skipper, is he that? Potentially, just my opinion, but yeah, I'd probably have him in the C range. Rory Sloan, Sloaney, I reckon Sloaney's good. Every time I see him, I know I'm using fronting the media as an example, but I think it shows a lot about the personality of the person. So, you know, when they have a loss and you front the media and you take, you know, you, you take um, responsibility and you don't blame anyone you, and you talk about how the team's going to, you know, go again, I, I get a lot of respect for you than if you front the media and you blame the umpires or, you know, you, you suck about certain stuff. So I, I think Sloaney's really good captain. Jack Zebel, I'd say he's a B. I don't like him. I don't like him because of the way he goes about it, but if I was a North supporter, I'd probably love him. Um, I would say that Zebel, you know, I've seen Zebel do similar stuff to what Zorko does, but not to that extent. And I think Zebel's just doing it for the better of the team. Like, we'll throw his body, we'll try and deck someone with a bit of force for the better of the team, when I sort of think Zorko just does it a little bit more cheaply, and it's almost a little bit selfish, in the way that, like, it could cost his team the way he conducts himself, when I think Zebel does it for the team. Anyway, I'm a walking contradiction, and I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. Uh, Dave Swallow. Haven't seen enough of him, but I'd probably just put him C considering where the Suns are, but that's not his fault. And he has stuck there through the tough time, so probably a little bit harsh. Ben Stratton, probably a C. Um, they've had better captains. 
the Hawks, haven't they? Like, not many captains that I've seen of the Hawks, uh, especially over the Premiership years, were, were pinching and, and carrying on and, you know, DJing at nightclubs. So, <laughs> he probably doesn't do that anymore, but that's the you know, perception I have of him. So, um, yeah, I probably just have strats at the C. And then Heps. I reckon Heps is all right. I don't know if he's B, but I think C's a little harsh. I don't know where to put Heps. Where do I put Heps? I'll put Heps in the B. Yeah, I'll put Heps in the B. Um, all right, so I'm going to have a quick reshuffle before this concludes. Koch, probably A as well. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put Koch in the A as well. And maybe Sloney. Nah, I can't have too many in the A. Is there any that need to drop down? I can Stratton probably drops down. <laughs> Is that harsh? Yeah. Alright. Well, that's it. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way it all sort of rolls out towards the end as well. Putting people in the C categories is always tough, but someone's gotta be in there. And, um,. The D's. I reckon Stratton's probably a little bit stiff, but I'm pretty content with Tex and Zorko in there. But let me know down below what you guys would have picked as well. Alright guys, that was another video. If you want to let me know um, your opinions and what you guys thought, whack it in the comments below. I appreciate you watching another video, and I'll have more content coming very, very shortly. Cheers.